Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. Evo Japan yes. 2020. Clear vision going into this year. The new Tekken World Tour. Tasty Steve. Rip on the mic. What's up, oh. man? How you doing? It's been a minute since we've actually done this. It's been a, minute. It's been like a this, month right? or something. You know, my arms are all healed up. We're good to go. Attached uh, it back. I see it's looking good over there. You know, looking straight. Go, yeah. Started going to the gym, I see. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually slacking like crazy. But, of course, this is Evo Japan 2020. We're back. Uh, the action is going to be pretty crazy. You know, a little unfortunate, of course, some of the Pakistan players couldn't sure. get their visas here. But Arsene Ash is here. We've got Kakoma. We've got, like, everybody in the world. That's true. Ulta, newly sponsored, also here as well. 100% facts. Uh, think about this, right? Last year, at the end, Tekken World Tour, I said that I knew that this Tekken World Tour season was going to be crazy because of what happened at EVO Japan. And right. now we have another chance to see it. Now you guys get the opportunity to see it from the roots, from the ground up, live from Japan. I think it's going to be really cool. Like you said before, there's a lot of big competitors here. Anakin making his first EVO Japan appearance. I know he's really excited about it. Jimmy J. Tran he's coming back. Uh, you talked about Olsan. I mean, personally, I can't believe Arsene Ash is coming back to uh, defend his EVO That's Japan. Awesome. That is so sick. This is what put him on the map, right? Mm -hmm. 2019 EVO Japan, Arsene Ash out of nowhere wins the event. Like, wait a second, who is this guy? Uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, after that, we watched him throughout the year, wins EVO Vegas, etc., etc. And now we're back here, and he's he's back. Arsene Ash, he got his visa approved. He got you know, it. I, I don't know how these things work. But uh, they said Arsene Ash, okay. Other guys, we don't know who you are. <laughs> you know, I don't know. You guys didn't win both Evos. Yeah, you <laughs> don't know who you are. You got to step it up a little bit. You guys play Akuma. We don't like that here. No. Nope. We <laughs> We're looking for Leroy's. Just Leroy's. Just Leroy's and Safina's, apparently, because that's oh, yeah. who Arsene Ash has been playing. True. We were talking about that a little bit as yes. well. Now, you were telling me, um, just to like to touch on it a little bit, mm -hmm. that um, – Season three, we've already we've had our ins and outs about season three. One of the main things that people are looking at, I know Rip's looking at it, is the fact that Leroy is playable, available, and looking a little bit uh dumb? controllable. <laughs> You're dumb. You're dumb. Man, you sound so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just look, Leroy is definitely what's the word that we're gonna use for this weekend? I don't know, overtuned. I don't know, whatever we want to call it. I actually but, like that. You know, the thing is, it's 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 mid January. There's a balance patch coming mid January. Leroy is gonna be. Well, I assume Leroy is gonna be normalized a little bit. Uh, we'll see. Whenever oh. mid January is, we're, we're gonna find out how Look, that goes. I don't know. You don't know. I mean, just to be clear, I don't want anybody to get confused. We don't know. They no, no, no. they talked about like the patch a little bit. Right. And as competitors, me still playing video games, I definitely want to see what their ideas are about you know, toning the character down a bit. <laughs> Because he is definitely crazy when it comes to, like, all these other... We just talked about Wednesday Night Fights. You, I saw you play a long set with Running Black. I, I've been watching sets of every player that plays Tekken all over the world right. give their go at the character Leroy. And I feel like in Tekken, we don't really get that as much. We've seen a lot of other games go kind of off the radar, off the scale, off the Richter with their <laughs> characters. I feel like this is the first time we had it in Tekken, for real. I've been talking to a few people... Who are like Street Fighter commentators, right? Uh -huh. And just they're they're giving their they're, they're like, give me your thoughts. How many Leroy's are gonna be in this top eight? And I don't think we're actually gonna get that many. Nah. I think that for some reason or another, Tekken players have some kind of pride about their characters and their mains. Some However, kind of pride. I like how you chuckled like it's a bad thing. I, I have mean, character I, pride. Some of them don't like guys like Chikorin, are you TWT champion? The TWT champion is uh, running facts, Leroy. That's facts. That's right. Facts. I actually just saw him run a few sets with a lot of um. Um, uh, Boy Be Love, I saw him uh, run a set with him. Uh, I saw him run a set with quite a few players. And I really like the fact that uh, the, how the Pakistan community has affected the entire Tekken world. I had to tell Arsene Nash at the Tekken World Tour Finals myself. I was like, hey, man, you know, you've changed the game. It's like the end of the Matrix what's when this, he stepped out of the booth. There, Steve? Wait, what's the first match? What is right there it? On the board. All right, board. players are sitting up. Oh, oh behind us. he's right behind us. DC. Oh, we we're really close to the stage. We we're Best right in front of the stage. in the stage. house. But there you see it. J. D C R on okay, the here. screen, wait, wait, wait. and he's going up against Saitama from the Philippines. I cannot see his controller, but he is one of the players who does have the cheat box, the cross up. Also, said he was going to be running Leroy at this event. Yes. So even though I said we're not going to get a lot of Leroy's in this top eight, there is a chance we get a couple. My guess is that we're going to get two. That's two. my guess. I guess we're going to get two, but I would love to be wrong and get like eight. Wow. In the top eight. Wow. Well. We're definitely going to find out. JDCR, one of those players that, uh, when you talk about the world stage of Tekken, uh, he's one of the people you talk about. When you talk about the legacy and the history of Tekken, JDCR is one of those players that you're talking about, especially if you're new to the world of Tekken. That's all you've been seeing for the last few years. I mean, he's been fighting to get those that championship, that TWT uh, championship under his belt, but 
I mean, as we can see, man, it's only been ramped up. Like, competition in the world of Tekken 7 has only been ramped up. Leroy is another character that's going to add to that, and I'm interested to see what happens now. Yeah, I'm trying to remember last year at EVO Japan who JDCR lost to. Ah, that's a good question. That is a very good question. I probably need to look at that today. I feel myself. like it might have been me. Really? Huh. I don't know. I feel like that's when he was running Armor King. No, well, I think I'm pretty sure and he it was. was like he was like one month into Armor King or something, you know, so... You know, it's a different year. JDCR, back in prime form since season three hit, I think. Mm -hmm. Been streaming a lot more, been playing a lot more. I love the fact oh, that- Is he you doing it? Yeah, be, oh, I hope oh, so. he's doing it. He's changing the buttons, he's checking them. We might have our first Leroy. Yeah. First match of the day, EVO Japan. Is this we got how we off? Is this how we're kicking off EVO Japan? With Leroy, please, please tell me this. And also, if we could get the game volume a bit higher, that would be beautiful. I'm I'm, look, I don't have many requests when I'm on a commentary. The only thing I ask is that you turn up the music when I ask you to. That's all I want. I just want the music to be on point. And this is a this is a nice big hall. So if the music from Tekken is blasting out over this boy, <laughs> I might have to take the headphones off. I might have to go acapella on the mic. Oh this wait, 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 wait. We're not maybe we're not getting Leroy. Oh man, you got me. Oh, oh. dragging off. I blame you, dude. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> I did look the other guy. He picks Leroy. That'd be yeah. Sick. Like Tama picks Leroy. That'd be sick. Oh yeah, did he? Uh, is he doing it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. First <laughs> match of Evo Japan. It's JDCR, and he's going to be using Leroy. This is what I. Came to see. This is research for me. King versus Leroy. This character is a, a problem no matter who you are, no matter how you slice it. JDCR <laughs> gonna be the first contestant up here going up against Saitama representing the Philippines. Alright, here we go. Here we are. Versus the Philippines Dragon's Nest. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh man, and you're all about like the song and everything. Who right? is it? Yo, so I'm gonna tell you something. I like the song, but if you slow it down, I've listened to it in slow mo on YouTube. It's even better. Just FYI, if you guys Time are into it like take that. Out the drag. Time to Ooh, take out the tray. <laughs> Yo, King, let's go. Let's see what Saitama's got. Round one. <laughs> I gotta say though, man. I gotta say this while people are listening. This dude Leroy has got to be one of the best fighting game characters created in the past like 20 years. I'm telling you right. <laughs> He's up there. Out about 20, because yeah, that guy's checking 5.0, too. I, oh, well, like I said, in the last 20 years. 15 bro. years, 15. Come on. I'll give it 15. All right, the 1-1. One, one. Already up uh -huh. low parry. Two of them. The down twos. Just the jab That's all you need. Leroy, look. The down twos, you know, so safe. Why, why even do the down back three? His demo man sweep, right? <laughs> Got to get him close to that down back one. Mm -hmm. Just to start it off early. I like that poke, not letting him get away oh, with anything. No. He definitely could have got Oki off of that. Yeah, he, he had the a whole combo. He could have, yeah, he could have converted there. Didn't, didn't pull the trigger quite right. And oh. said, JC, oh, I thought he got a counter launch. Didn't find it. Tackle, no, sir. Ooh, what a whip on it. Launcher. Down 4-2, 1 plus 2. And he recognized with slightly off access to the wall. Didn't try to do a wall Round combo three. there. Just gets a simple down 2-4. Oh, oh, you hear the music? Oh. Feeling himself. Feel yourself. You're about to get this work. Okay, small punish right there, 2-1. And you can see Saitama slowing it down just a little bit. I don't blame him though. Okay, rolling solo. So box. I think Saitama's killing to the beast right now. He's giving him power. Look at this. Oh, back one plus two. Tries to go for the orbital. I like how slow Saitama's playing right now, but it's giving JDCR all the momentum. I forgot it was JDCR playing Leroy for a <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I wonder what people, people be mad if I started singing this. Yeah. I wonder. I mean, I'm just saying. I do the voice and everything. I just want peace, right? Going all the way. With nothing to show for it. I love, I love his win quotes, though. Yeah, you going out with nothing to show for it. Hit him with the shrug. Come on, sugar. Let's go. Come on, sugar. Does sugar bark? I have so many questions. Does the dog ever bark? So, you know when he calls out sugar at the attack? If sugar barks. That's when he'll attack. Boom. No. But if he doesn't bark, then he won't attack. Okay. That's the one where he comes out road that just stops and wags his uh, tongue out. Whatever. Hold on, man. First off, you're talking way too short. So we know for a fact that Sugar is a boy and not a girl. Oh, my bad, bro. Come on, man. Look. Got to be careful out here, okay? Yeah. Uh, Actually, I don't know either. I'm just. I was just you got me so confused. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> is it, is it, is it, <laughs> I, I'm out of words. Either way, no. Um, sugar. 
Sugar is one of those uh, things that, like, is new to the world of Tekken. Just to talk about the character a little bit, sure. right? Um, Sugar is new to the world of Tekken. It has a random factor to it because, like you said before, unless it barks, it does not come out and attack. Right. Also, Leroy, that character, he has a, a thing that's new to Tekken. He has a one-time use item once per match, uh, which is very new to the world of Tekken. Like, I'm looking at this as a person who plays a lot of other games. I'm like, oh, this is pretty unique in the world of Tekken. Yeah, yeah, I think the appropriate word is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Yeah, that, that's, what, that was, that's what it was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Unfair, unfair, uh, imbalance. I think it's cool. It's something along the lines of Look, those words. Look, they can all be fixed, Rip. That, that, these are things. Oh yeah, I'm that talking about what, talking about what we're looking at right now. Okay. I mean, okay. look, this guy JD Shaw, he didn't even use it. <laughs> he didn't even use it. Well, either way, we're going back in one more time from our for our representative for the Philippines, Sai Tom. And he had some opportunities there, right? He just didn't convert off his combos. So he switches. Saitama Oh, switches. my God. <laughs> and we have this a This is first our first set of Evil Japan 2020. Set. Hey, man, I don't know, Things man. are clear now, right? Time it's to clear to me what dress. needs to be done in 2020. Got to switch to Leroy. Yo, the kick at the camera, your backup camera. <laughs> Fight. All right, Saitama. Have you been practicing the character? And this is the thing. A lot of people only have experience in the mirror match because they don't like playing with their own character. Yeah, that's facts. I'm telling you, right, I've done like, exactly the same thing. I don't like fighting Leroy with King, so I will definitely switch to Leroy to fight. Oh, big damage. Big damage right there already in this arena stage. And this stage definitely benefits uh, Leroy because his wall carry super good. He gets really good damage on the wall as well. Yeah, and Saitama keeps on doing down back 1-3. That's actually the high version. It's like a mid-high string. There's a mid-mid version that's safe always. Yep. Just always do that one. Don't even bother with the high. Like, he's throwing out the high just to get the start drug so he gets hit by the mid. It's unnecessary. Just always do the mid. Does the, the mid jail? Yeah, you can't interrupt it. And it's delayable. So if you delay big enough, you can interrupt, sure. But it's a counter launcher if you interrupt too slowly or the delay's not big enough for you. So it's a big problem. All right, still two rounds in right now for JDCR after the, the mirror switch by Saitama to pull out his own Leroy. But sometimes, you know, you gotta warm up with that other character, right? He's in king mode right now. He's trying to think about grabs. That's a real thing. That dev that's that's oh, definitely yeah. a real thing. Write that down too. There you go, all day. Just keep doing it. Don't even do the high. See? The mix wow. up. Or, but oh, wait a minute, Saitama's got. Oh, oh okay. and that's it. That's the same problem he had King, right? He had opportunities. He didn't convert them into combos. Counter hit. Yeah, counter hit back one. That's going to be it. JDCR taking that first game versus Saitama, even though he tried to, you know, stop him by going to Leroy himself. Let's go, sugar. <laughs> Well done, JDCR starting off EVO Japan 2020 with the victory. Starting off the year with the victory. Very nice to him. But, of course, guys, you guys, keep track. Don't keep score for us. Count the number of Leroy's. We are going to be very excited to find out what those numbers are at the end of the day. Don't don't listen to him. I'm okay. Just, I'm excited he already to said out. he wanted eight Leroy's. So I'm, we know where this is going to go. And we know where you guys are right now. EVO Japan, you just saw your first match for Tekken 7. I mean, I'm still really excited. I know that we're going to see quite a bit of Leroy's, but I'm, I want to see how people deal with it. No, definitely. And obviously, Arsene Ash, he was at KIT earlier this month, uh, the beginning of the year. He went up against Trungi's Leroy there. He actually beat, like, three Leroy's to get to the top eight in that tournament. So he has a lot of experience against okay. the character. I think Zafina plays against the character very well as well. So that should be pretty interesting. I think Arsene Ash will have a good chance of defeating him. And also interesting to know just about that matchup with Zafina versus Leroy. Shadow originally thought, you know, I don't think Leroy is that big of a problem, but... He was running Zafina at the time as well. Ah, so okay. it seems like if you have a bigger back dash, you get away from him, you know, his lows are less threatening to you. So then it's kind of easier to defend against the character. You can face out faster than other characters can. So down back three, it's not a clean hit. It's literally just every time you hit down Anytime, back. As long as you input the man. second part, it will trip you. Wow. That's one of the things I feel like they're definitely going to have to change. You have to give that a clean hit property. The way you're not going to get that knockdown every right. time. And it knocks him so far away. It hits so you to far. the wall. Man, Leroy is definitely a problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely a problem. There, there are a multitude of issues uh, that need to be addressed. But I have faith that they'll get to it. Well, they are going to get to it. These people are going to get to this Leroy. They're going to get this work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'll get to it eventually. But right now, of course, you know, we're still running through Evil Japan. We got our next match coming up. Who do we have, Steve? I knew you were going to do that. Is it Pei Ch Pei Pai Chan? Pei Chan. I think it's Pei. Pei P-E-I. I don't know. It might. It, it may go somewhere else with that one. Man. We, we, we don't know. And I'll... Boy. Miyamori. Miyamori. Al Miyamori. What are these drinks we got in front of us? We got some uh, Ozone? G-Zone? G-Zone. G-Zone. I believe one of the sponsors of Evo Japan this year. I'm gonna have to try one of these bad boys out. I 
turned the camera around very slowly. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, okay. All you saw was the zone part. Oh, it's just zone, not G. Oh, it's like a power thing. And oh, then it's the power zone. button. Oh, clever, clever. I actually like that. That's cool. It has, like, it's all illuminated and stuff, like it's on a console or maybe a PC. Wow, play, study, work. Zone assists all the digital culture lovers to enjoy sense of immersion. Can I try this while I'm commentating? Is this going to immerse me to the commentary? Are you going to do it too? Yeah, I'll do it too. We'll try one. As these guys get set up, cheers. Cheers to the power zone. Tastes good. Nice tangy. Hey, now. Oh, we're going to see what that happens later. Yeah. You know, me and Energy, man, we get along quite well. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the zone might be good for uh, the commentary or this table, but here we go. <laughs> or the table. Or the table, man. We saw what happened. At We've never taken out a table. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't don't listen to me. Never. Don't listen to What's me. What's the table going to survive? Table's fine. This table looks smaller than guys what we had fine. before. It's fine here. I'm glad you guys are joining us. Um, The hall looks ridiculous. We came down the escalator as we came in, and it was like a sea of people uh, coming through out here. So I think it's really, really cool. Evo Japan always seems to draw out a lot of people. Free to enter tournament, of course. Um, but on top of that, it's one of the higher competition places that you want to come, especially when it comes to fighting games in general. Oh, without a doubt, right? There's just like, I think there's like something like a thousand entrants here for Tekken 7 at this event. Uh, and the competition level for that thousand is going to be very high, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing that's very cool about this venue specifically, I was here for SBO in you were 2009. About 10 years ago, or yeah, something like that. Crazy. The, uh, I, I recognized it because we walked in and I saw these smoke boxes back there, and I was like, I took a picture of Eris inside this smoke box. I, re <laughs> I remember it. So yeah, it's the same venue. It's so cool. I didn't realize that this is where it was again. Well, I've never been to an SBO, so this is all new to me. I mean, this venue was sick. I would I would love to see some of the footage from that old SBO just so I could get, you know, acclimated with the scene. But I think these guys are ready. Al Miyamori going up against Pei Chan. Both of these guys represent Japan, and that's uh, one of the things that I love about coming to Japan and getting to to see and commentate a tournament here is just the fact that you get so many local players or players from around Japan that you might not see other times. So on top of that, we might be exposed to some brand new world-killing talent right now. Yeah. Yep. And even better, we might actually get to see some Tekken oh, characters. Zumi. Here oh we go. Kazumi and Jin. Nice. Jin. Still one of those. I feel like we've seen less Jin these days, man. Yeah, I mean, we had a guy named Chikorin who used to be a gin player, and then he went to like Akuma, yeah. Geese, and now Leroy. <laughs> that guy, I don't think he's a gin player. The more I think about it, the less I think he's a gin player. I mean, I feel like he's playing the field, right? He's like, look, we're going to know how to deal with everything. <laughs> but if push comes to shove, my boy Jin's back there, right? No, if push comes to shove, Jin's not coming out is what happened. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Yeah, All right. that's true. You know, I never noticed he had like the, the Zaibatsu thing, the gin wow. sign on his jacket. I never. Oh, really? I oh. never noticed that. Is it gold or is it black? Gold? No, it's like the actual colors. It's uh, red and uh, like gold. Like uh, the fire emblem off of his old pants. Alright, here we go. Okay, fearless warrior. Uh -huh. Gonna get the wall. That new, that new extender right there. How do you do that? I know it's uh, out of flow though. Yeah, just machi kicks basically. Yeah. Nice addition for though for wall carry for sure. I'm telling you, man, I've always thought that Kazumi has always reminded me of Jim Pachi. Like, all, ever since, like, I've really? yeah, always, always reminded me of Jim Pachi. Round two. That's it. I mean, she's got the jab range. <laughs> and down four. And she was the demon inside Jim Pachi in Tekken 5.0. Hey, man, I, look, I wouldn't be surprised. Nice deep spot with the wall pressure here. Oh, beautiful. Four, four, three goes for the full extension. All right. The Amori has a chance. Right underneath that high. Oh, hell no sweet. No. Oh, he Unlockable. Yo, that was so. smart. Rage or get out of here. And that the arm is through. Like, that throw. Feel the fury. Cannot check it. KO. Rage are a great option. Round three. Rage on. Fight. All right, that statue kick. Oh, mm, I like that. Me and Mori actually slowing it down. I was playing a lot looser in that first round. Lots of movement, lots of fearless warrior. Um, but now still right here on the wall. Big damage. Yeah, I love the fly mix up. Oh, counter hit. That was I so love, good, right? Off the side step left, forward four. Found the counter hit. Oh, wow. Yeah, me and Mori's actually ducking quite a bit with his back against the wall. But it doesn't matter. Not that time. Down four closes it out. Round yeah, Pei Chan actually doing a great job of mixing up oh. those lows. That's me more on his toes. Uh oh. Same thing. Side step left, forward four. Okay, two one. And 
I like Miyamori just still trying to keep the pace really, really slow, but like Peijan is actually just trying to turn it up a notch. Trying to get these big hits. Nice parry gets the 2-4. Oh, hit. Yeah, the pick is good here. Here comes the school attack. Wall should be easy to find. Oh, he'll sweep once again. Another one? Oh, yep, that was it too. Got the trade on counter hit, but still, here we go. Final round first game. Miyamori bringing it back. What a tiger uppercut you're getting painted. Yo, Tony, chill. Tiger. Oh, works this time though. I mean, yeah, it's the thing he's throwing every mix about him, right? We've got him guessing. Down back four. Let that evil intent rip. Duck. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like how you duck the IRL. I do. <laughs> That's how I do it every time. It's like you're fighting. LLR. Your K. Oh, you didn't even do the K. You don't need to, baby. All right, all right. Uh, feel the fury. Nicely done. Clutch ducks there. Beautiful punishes. That was great defense and offense on both sides. There's a lot of back and forth in those rounds, too. You can see the adjustments like starting to kick in. Now we're going into the second game. Get ready for yeah, man, going for like a bunch of those mix-ups out of like Fearless Warrior, like you was talking about, the hell sweep, the throw. Did you try the unblockable, though? It, uh... Wait, 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 what unblockable? I'm, I'm tripping. Never mind. <laughs> Does he have an unblockable? I, I, I thought she did have a... Probably. I, I mean, I, I don't really know her unblockable. That's why. But he definitely did the, the throw. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I just don't know. The <laughs> I love how you like reenacted. I, like, I, I still don't recognize it. <laughs> I never saw it. Round one. Oh Fun. snap! Let's go. I like the the unconventional string usage right there. One down, three, four. You had to start off the round too, right? It wasn't like a round ender situation. It's like, let me see if you notice at the beginning. I mean, look, Kazumi's been throwing a lot of mix-ups at Jin. Jin's like, you know what? I got a few strings too. Let's see how well you know. But the damage is definitely on the side of uh, Paitan right now. Get him. Once again, duck and punish. That's going to be the first round game. Oh, two. boy. Wait a soon. second. Oh, OK. One down three. One down three. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a real big fan of Paitan right now. Fight. Defense is good. I love his, uh, the way he ducks the high bosses. He ducks the appropriate punches. The side tip has been solid. Find the counter hit. You know, big things off and stuff like that. I'm a fan. Right, me and Mori getting a little more active this time around. I like using Jack. I feel like that's what you want to do anyway. Oh, yeah. Keep getting away from you. Just found out one little side step again. Off the down forward one. Got the hockey got it. And now me and Mori's got rage. Oh. And that's the second time he's done like the 4-4-3-1-2-3 four, four, three, three. Three, full string. Just to Fun. see if me and Mori's going to swing in between. Uh. on the set point now. The down back four. One of the things they changed in the system. Wow, Jesus didn't learn wow. nothing from the finals. <laughs> oh, what was I supposed to learn, man? I don't know, man. Maybe I got to do it louder. You ever think about that? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. They uh, turned down the game volume so you can be louder. Exactly. I mean, I feel, like that's the, <laughs> I feel like that's the best way to do it anyway. Yes, you, you got to turn up the game volume so we can hear Steve less. Mm -hmm. That's the way that works. Yo, they getting away with this oh. every time. He's just mixing everything up, right? He's getting the avoidance of water ducting. And that will be that. Great dart to close it out. Hey, Chan. 2-0 gets the victory. But yeah, like I said, I love coming to events, especially uh, Japan, because you get to see a lot of players that don't get to travel. Just like in the States, man, we say this a lot. Like, there's so many times that we know about players from the States or from our region that a lot of people don't know about, and they only come out to those local events. I think it's a really cool thing. Thanks, man, I appreciate that. It's a really cool thing to have these players in person, especially when we come, like, to another country. I think it's really cool. No, it's awesome, right? We're going to see so many new players here uh, throughout. Of course, you know, the way the schedule's working, we're not going to get to see a lot of the action Right, we're gonna see like a two hour block here. We get another two hour block on the secondary stream later today, and then we get more action like that spread out tomorrow. And then, of course, we get the top eight on Sunday. Well, I'm interested to see who's gonna make it. I want to see what this top eight picture is gonna look like. And I know we're just getting started, but like I said, this is not on the Tekken World Tour. No, this is not for points. This is mostly for pride. And I feel like Arsene Ash is one of those people that everybody's looking at, especially if you're a Tekken player. I mean, Anakin is here, he wasn't here last year. Oh, that's big. Um, Sh Wait, is Shadow here? I haven't seen Shadow. I don't think he's here. Man. I feel like we would have seen him by now. Yeah, I feel like Like, we John Ding is here. That's for sure, right? I mean, I feel like Dimeback is here. We saw Dimeback as well. I'm trying to remember all the players we saw yesterday when we were in Akihabara, you know? Mimi's here. Rangchu is here. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of Book people. is here from Thailand. No, no. 
and, and there's a lot of players that I'm interested to see how they're going to deal with like these new people, uh, how they're going to deal with the Leroy. But like I said before, this is the precursor to the Tekken World Tour season. You're going to get a nice, strong like idea of what you're going to be looking at going into the year from this tournament alone. Another reason I love coming to EVO Japan. Of course, yeah. And of course, the tour doesn't start until April, right? So we still got months away, but who knows? Maybe it'll be at the beginning of April. There's no set date. We just know the month of April. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's that's true. That's true. Man, there are so many people here. There are so many people here. We can see like the Tekken area right oh, over here. Packed. It is super packed. Yeah, I mean, this, this entire venue is packed right now, right? The tournament just kicked off. It's noon out here in Japan. So you've got the Street Fighter section, you've got Tekken section, you've got Smash section. Smash section is gigantic. It's by far the largest section here. Smash, bro. I mean, well, they had to start capping the tournament because it was so many people. They had to cap the tournament because it was so many people entering for Smash. And like I said, that just goes to show like the kind of competition that there is out here. I mean, Smash Brothers being one of the biggest games out here, they had to cap it because it was so many people entering. I can't wait to see some of that competition. Yeah, definitely a lot of players here super excited about that tournament as well. But uh, right now we're waiting for our next match. Waiting. Look, Look at G like Project versus uh, Goji coming up. Not sure yeah. where these guys are from. But they're not up on the stage just yet. Right. Yeah, the setup here is pretty interesting this year because we are right, where you guys are seeing us. This oh, yeah. stage literally right behind us. That's where the players are sitting. So we had to look back to see. I was like, oh, JDCR is right, right there. there. <laughs> I was like, do you think he heard me when I talked about Leroy? Nah. nah. I think he wants to use Leroy. I didn't get to see his controller. I really want to know if he's using the hitbox cross up because he received one, uh, you know, very recently, probably just a couple weeks ago. He ran it on stream, uh, showed some of its capabilities that are really something. You know, they're really something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That JDCR guy, he's going to do pretty good at it. I'm not sure what he's running, though, because obviously that, the, the, the cross, cross up? Is that what yeah, it's the cross up. It uh, ships with the Japanese stick, right? Japanese oh. So I don't know if he already swapped that out. So I'm sure somebody in the chat already knows. Yeah, I saw um, when he was actually, I saw like a few clips of him playing with it, but I can't remember. I feel exactly. like I, had I didn't pay attention to I think the, he had the Korean level. Probably did. I'm pretty probably sure he did. did. So. But there's a lot of people going that route as well. Um, oh, yeah. Looking at that uh, that cross-up as one of their options for Tekken. I mean, Tekken is one of those games, man. I feel like it's it's really, uh, especially in this past, what, two, three years, there's so many people coming into the world of Tekken. So there's so many different avenues to get into the game. Frankly, I am happy that there's a lot of ways for people to play Tekken. Oh, um, yeah. But I feel like the, the influx of players is definitely changing the scope of things, man. I'm going to put you on the spot, Steve. Oh, crap. What do you feel about the cross-up? What do I feel about the cross-up? I like accessibility in anything. If it's going to bring more people to it, fine. I do personally feel like it does a little too much, especially when it comes to Tekken. Um, okay. The game itself, um, I feel like it benefits more from some of the capabilities of it um, because of the movement options that you have in Tekken. One of the most complicated things in Tekken is movement. Um, uh -huh. So having that be, you know, accessibly easier is a good thing. But if you look at some of the legacy that kind of goes out the window when it's there, that's the thing I'm looking at. That's the thing I'm like, oh, man. The main thing that bothers me right now is the capability of sidestep and crouch on 1P. Uh, that's a problem. Sidestep mm. down. It's yeah, even fair. JDCR was talking. Uh, was yeah. one of the people who benefits from that like even more so. Well, it's like against Leroy. If you block down 1 plus 2, seven. like you, usually you would be able to sidestep down. But he's like, whatever, I'm going to sidestep down. I have a cross -up. You don't. So, oh, so uh, Ruri coming up, going up against Gochi. Interested to see what character. I know they're still setting buttons up right now. But no, um, but I do like what the hitbox does for those people who are coming into the world of Tekken who don't, don't have a grasp on the movement just yet. Right. I don't. You don't? No. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put you on the spot. You tell me. No, I'm just kidding. Ban it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ban it? That's, Ban it. That's how you feel about it? Ban, Ban it. Yeah. I can definitely see that sentiment. I can definitely see that sentiment. If somebody blow me up on one, I'm, I'm going right there with you, man. Like, yeah, man, I've only played uh, only played Tekken 2. I don't know how this works, but I got this cross-up, <laughs> though. I mean, you know, shout-out to the company for putting one together and, you know... Shout-out to Hitbox in general. Yeah, innovating, uh, you know, the space, essentially. Yeah, shout-out to, like, uh, Hitbox in general, because, like I said, there's so many people who, who would not take that plunge to go in any, not just Tekken, in any other game if they didn't have access to it. Some people prefer just the Hitbox in general as opposed to it. And I've actually pointed people Ban to getting... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not for Tekken. I've actually pointed people to getting hitboxes for certain games, but not not Tekken. I, I've not done that. All right. Gochi versus Ruru. Oh, Ruri, sorry. And it's going to be another Leroy coming up. 
versus Lily this time. Interesting. I have not seen that li Lily outfit before, but it's really cool. Round Man, one. The and that's another thing yeah. that's changed. We Wait. get these new outfits, um, that these presets that are actually really cool. Gives a little more personality just to the independent, like the, the individual competitors that choose their characters. So that's really cool, too. And on top of that, some of them are really cool. Oh, no, it's definitely cool that, like, certain players will stick to certain outfits, you know? We've seen it in other games. It's cool that Tekken now has an option. Uh, beyond just the default one piece oh, yeah. color. Orbital. Orbital. Got him. Oh, oh get him. Okay, wait a minute. Yo! The blue stuff. There we Let's go. Let's go. This Leroy guy out of here. Round two. Get him, Rory. Let's go. Uh oh, Rory not back turn. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that down 4 or 1, man. Super good. Leroy is so scary. Yeah, I mean, it's only minus 1 on block. You know, traditionally, uh, down forward ones are like Ow. minus three on block. I don't think any down forward one should be minus one on block. Yeah, I think we were talking about that too. Uh oh, steals around right back, coach. Tying it up in this first game. Fight. <laughs> nice throw tech there. Wow, just fishing for it. Doesn't find it though. Okay, I like Ruby slowing it down. Yeah, and that down 2-4 from Leroy also extremely annoying, right? Because the second hit is so delayable, and it's a counter and knockdown for additional damage. But it's so delayable that you can actually mix up with the while standing 4 in the middle. So it's like, okay, that's a problem. Right, small punish right there on that big one. All right, goes into Hermit stance. And you can see, like, the movement from Gochi. And I feel like another thing is, is like, uh, when people see uh, Leroy go into Hermit stance, like, they get afraid to attack. I know I do. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like, man, what do I do now? Yeah, I think the best option is if you sidewalk right. Uh, if you have a character like Armor King, what's that move where he steps aside and he punches you? It's like back one, four, back yeah, one, four, like one back plus two, four, something three. like that, right? Yeah, it's one of those combinations. But a move like that where you avoid to the right direction and you attack is usually pretty good. It makes a guess. I'll hold the walking stick. Nice and done. You just using it for the frame advantage there. It's like, surprise, I didn't need Rage to use this. Mm -hmm. It's so fair. You're going, going out, out with nothing to show for. I love that wind quote, actually. <laughs> I like the Ooh. camera angle that he... <laughs> it's from your dead body on right? the floor. Uh. <laughs> All right, Ruby was doing really good at the beginning. Uh, took that first round, but Gochi making the proper adjustments. Still back that first game. Picks the stage, goes to Forgotten Realm okay. this time. I know a lot of Lily's players prefer this stage. Do you remember back in uh, Tekken 7.0 where Lily had like the infinite floor break with this oh, combo, basically? Oh, yeah, with the backflip, <laughs> yeah. 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 The good old days. The, that's the good old days? <laughs> I mean, look, uh, in this matchup, she's going to need it. Right. <laughs> Give her back the infinite floor break so she can deal with Leroy. That's like the same one where, like, Kazuya had, like, the the up 4-4 four four on the wall, and it, like, legit just kept comboing, right? Oh, really? I don't even yeah. remember that one. That's funny. <laughs> that sounds cool. <laughs> Every, sounds cool. That's broken. I, I've never seen it, yeah. I mean, look, we don't have to deal with it anymore, so I'm happy about that's it. That's true. That's true. You know what? You're right. It's like, you know, in a couple years, we'll look back. Like, remember when Leroy came out? <laughs> Good times. Anyways. It's like the Paul Rudd thing. It's like, who the thunk it? We're here, right? Remember when Leroy was a problem? Mm -hmm. Oh, floor break. Man, that down one plus two is too good. It's pretty good. It's got great range. Mid, counter hit. Counter hit launcher. launcher. It's so stupid. It's <laughs> safe on block. All right, root of evil. Give it to him. How'd you know you called it out before it came out? Because right, I already knew what was coming. I like that. Ruri has him on the ropes right now. That was a good step. Lily in rage. Okay. Now Leroy's in rage. Ah, the down for it. One. Yeah. Gotta be careful with those spring ups now. And Leroy's got such great tools, right? Just the down forward one in general, it's got such a low hitbox yep. that, you know, he can pick up Eddie's relax. So it's a big problem. So when you're on the ground, you try to do a get up kick, down forward one for Leroy's gonna check you all the day. Oh no. Probably Ooh. gonna go for a floor break. Caught him sidestepping. That's gonna be a full launch, full break of her own. This is when that infinite will come in. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's when it would happen, right there. All right, Rory, hold on, hold on. Ow, big damage for no reason and a knockdown. For come no on. reason. Confirm. Uh oh, frame advance for no reason. Double rate for no reason. Low chip. Oh. They're gonna walk it out down 3 2 in a hermit stance. Gochi on set point here. Fight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Demo man. They're down back three. Do you have oh. another name for it? Like, you know, we got Emo Man for uh, Noctis. For Noctis. I don't know, man. I would just say Cool Man. Dread Man? Gray haired guy. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Boy, gray haired guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Gray haired guy's pretty good. <laughs> 
GHG, gray hair. Get no, let me stop. Let me stop. Oh, nice block. Full and punch with oh, the wait, what? And That's two, a combo? What was that? I don't like it. I don't. I'm a fan. Because I've never seen that combo. Yo, that, that's uh, one of the complaints that people have about Leroy is that they get bored of him because all the combo routes are the same unless you're doing something from like back three. So there was something new for you right there. I don't know. People are saying that, but like every time I see a new Leroy, every time I see a Leroy, they do something new. Like <laughs> I was watching you play, and I was like, I didn't even know you could do that. And then I'm watching, I'm watching Gochi play right now. I'm like, well, but I didn't know you I, could. Do. I was like, I dropped the combo. The combo. <laughs> they picked it up. <laughs> Found an answer. <laughs> but no, um, that like I think Leroy, like when it comes to just like character in general, I think is really cool. Great addition to the game. He, he is actually super cool, right? I, and a lot of people say they they got bored of the character very fast. I'm the opposite. I've been having tons of fun with the character. I even told you, like I hate mirror matches. Like I hate mirror matches, but I will play Leroy versus Leroy because it's, it's a very fun, fun it's mirror really, match. really fun. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't like playing against Leroy with my main characters, but playing against him with Leroy, that's a lot of fun. No, that's fun. definitely true. Definitely true. Yeah, and also I've you know I heard other people say like, oh man, yeah, I'm not playing rank until they fix Leroy or whatever. I'm like, I'm like bro, just pick Leroy. Yeah, it's just pick so Leroy. fun. He, it actually is so fun to play the character. Like I know some people they, they try to you know they just do the stuff that's really cheap right now. Like yeah. say just down one plus two all day or something like that. But if you try to explore the character fully and go through his whole, it's a lot more fun. It's, it's a lot it's more a fun. A lot more and fun. Obviously, we all know the character is going to get rebounds, right? So. Learn the rest of the move set and enjoy it while you can. I feel like that's the best way to go about it, right? I mean, like, I'm not gonna play Leroy seriously, but as soon as the character was available, I went to the lab and I was like, let me see what this character's got. I think I actually might continue playing the character. Oh, regardless? Regardless, yeah, because I'm expecting them to change him already, but yeah. I like the character, I like the style, I like the, the availability of the parries in both situations. Like, so when he's in Hermit Stance, it's a permanent low counter. Permanent. As, as long as he's in the stance, it's always gonna yep. low counter, right? Yep. But then, if you see a mid coming at you, you can do the mid-high parry from the Hermit stance. Yeah. So you can literally try to react or guess react to every situation with it. It's pretty fun just to do that. No, that's definitely true. I think that's not fair, but yeah. Uh, well, it's still a guessing situation. Right? It is because a guessing. If, if you call out, if you say, I think they can do a mid or high, and you don't just react to it, and you do that, and they go for a low, you will get hit still, right? Yeah, that not fair was just my own personal bias. Right. I mean, <laughs> the, the thing that, that is unfair about it currently, right, is say you're playing against Marduk. Right, mm -hmm. this is something I, I did multiple times where you block Marduk's rage drive, it leaves him face down right in front of you, right? So it's the mix up for Marduk. He's either going to sweep your leg or he's going to go tackle. Do like the mid right. the, yeah. So as soon as I block Marduk's rage drive, I just go to Hermit Thing. Oh. And then like, if they go low, I get the counter for wall bounce usually. <laughs> or if you I can guess. Read the mid and yeah, because the, the mid is slower, yeah. right? Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But look at this, we got bots coming up. Going up against Zachy Wilds, your boss, the Huarong player. There he is on his motorcycle with no iPads. With both Beautiful. eyes. Let's yeah, go. both eyes. Let's go, Huarong. Bro, I can't believe I did remember him losing his eye. Like, we were talking about that. I was like, he lost his eye? I thought it was just a cosmetic thing. <laughs> he lost it, bro. He, saved, he lost the saving gin. That man, look, first off, I, I feel like he looks cool with the eye patch. Don't get me wrong, but man, that was a sucky sacrifice, bro. You think he looks cool with it? I think he looks dope. You're lying if you're saying he doesn't look dope. Where's the red come from, too? So that means the red is a thing, too. Is that because he got, like, beat up by Jin? Is What's that what red? The streak. He has a red streak now. Oh, it's part of the explosion. He turns your hair red. That doesn't make sense. It's like, it's like scarred from burns. Your hair? Yeah. I hate you, Rip. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Back three. <laughs> you said it with a straight face. That was the real problem. Oh. <laughs> you said it with a straight face. That was really good. Oh, man. And Bots here, you know, Evo Japan. Don't forget, Bots has made top eight at Evo Vegas in the yep, past. Yep. <gasps> Bots is pretty nice. I will tell you that. Oh, we got an Akuma? Who's this character? I wonder how good he is. I mean, a lot of people still think he's top tier in this game. S tier. I like the adjustments they made to him. Definitely a lot wow. more manageable now. Beautiful. Nice duck and punish. Wait a minute. Yo, bets. Ah, ah. Big damn. That low always throws me off. Yeah, it looks so awkward, right? It's like his leg fell out of his body and kicked you in an accident. Disjointed leg fall. Like, uh -huh. Okay, all right. I love seeing like Warong being played. Yeah, look at his head. Did you see the way he controlled that stick with his fingers? He switched positions. It's Warong player for you, man. Hey, he went from like wine glass to like, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> The way you just, I'm glad you weren't on camera with that hand motion. I am so happy. If you guys would have seen <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man, there's a lot of bottling going on over there. All right, Zachy Wild, gonna have to change things up here. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> oh man.
Production, I'm going to need you guys to send me that clip. I know you okay. guys recorded it. I can see it on this monitor in front of me. I know you got that footage. I That's need not how that. that works. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, and he's running like the regular Warong. I'm about this. Yes. I wish I wish Round one of the... One. So one of the things about the presets, Fight. I wish it was just all the Tekken costumes, like the generational costumes. All of them? Costumes. That would be sick. Like, yeah, I think that would be really dope. I feel like that's something they should do if they make like a Tekken Tag 3 or something. Yeah. And then just put in all oh, the costumes. Oh, that's sick. Because that's always like that kind of a game, right? And we've been talking about Tekken 4 recently, right? And I was talking about like, I think Tekken 4 has some of the best presentation like out of the, the entire series. Sure. But I think one of the things that Tekken 4 did, and this is plays to it, is the fact that they had the casual outfits, like what they would wear normally, and yeah, then Paul they had the battle down. outfit. Yeah, I, lo I love that. Oh, man, what a comeback there from Bot. Just ran all the way back with Pokes for the most part. But yeah, casual outfits would be sick again. I mean, they kind of, I mean, currently, it's kind of all over the place, right? I think really it's because the world is, like, yeah. crazy right now. Like The, the world is crazy right now? Like, for them, right? Because, like, the whole world is at war. So, it's like, they're always in, like, battle gear, you know? Well, what I meant is, like, some of the outfits now are totally not battle Oh, yeah, they're definitely yeah, not. It's all over the place in terms of, like, you know, casual battle? It's, it's, I don't is know. that a golem robot? What the hell is that? Yeah, I'm wearing a shower head. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all set point right now. Zacky Wild needs to do something. Oh, no. Zacky Wild's getting beat up here. My hell sweep right there. And Kuma had a couple of changes, right? Since uh, since the finals, actually. Yep. Down two more recovery, fireball more punishable. But that's why, like, we talk about, like, you know, the whole balance thing, right? Like, obviously, the team knows, like, some of these things are getting crazy. Especially with, like, whoa. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, bots getting crazy. DP, I don't think so. Back three. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we saw oh, that. No, no, no. Oh, Kuma. Oh, down three. Rage. Okay, oh, my okay, God. Okay. If he jumped right there, bots freaking out. He's like, I almost died. Yeah. I almost lost 99% of my health. Any meter, he was still going to die. Like, where did that meter come from? Dead. There's a wall over there. He's got rage. He's a demon. It's a problem. He's got rage. This dude looks like young Harada now that I just tripped off of that. That dude definitely looks like young Harada that was just... Zacky Wild? Yeah, Zacky yeah. Wild looks like young Harada. A little look, bit. Look, look back up. He's going to come over and tell me to shut up. That's what he's going to do. Shut up, Steve. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> like, stop singing. Coming up next, though, we've got UIU's John Ding coming to the stage. Going to be going up against Kuma Tetsu, apparently. This is the winner's final of their pool. We are rolling oh, along here real right fast. Now. All right, I okay, like we it. Got, we got two hours of the block, Steve. We got to roll through as many matches as possible. Get the winner final. Get right. the top 16. Put them all on stream. Man, there's a lot of players coming in right now. Oh, yeah, there's Gen right there. Mm -hmm. Gen, another one of those breakout players that, like, first off, like, shout outs to Liquid. I'm always going to say it, picking up Gen. Uh, I want that Spider Man Venom hoodie thing. Bro, y'all are slacking right now. I want Liquid. Stop playing with me. I want to wear it on comments. I need that Spider Man. I'm a, Look, I am a Spider Man enthusiast. Sure. I'm just saying. No, you're not. he ain't even like Spider-Man 2. I'm, I'm just saying. Giant mouth. Well, wait, wait, Spider-Man 2. I didn't like Spider-Man did. 2. You did? The Andrew Garfield one I didn't like. <laughs> I was talking about Far From Home. But you put the I it, love Far From Home. But it's, you know John what Ding. About this John Ding. John Ding, another one of those guys. We look at, like, yo, he's uh, had quite the stride over the past two or three years. Looks like he just woke up. <laughs> He, I, I was talking to him last night, actually. There was a, a little session at the Esports Square in Akihabara. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say it? Akihabara? I say, I, say, Aki, I say Akihabara. So anyways, I saw him and I was talking to him. And he said his biggest concern was going up against a Leroy. Uh, because he thinks that all of his yep. characters, right? Uh, whether it be uh, Eddie or Lucky Chloe or Julia, uh, which we saw him pull out at the finals uh, in the LCQ at least. Uh, you know, none of them, he thinks, are good against... Leroy. Okay, okay. He thinks they all have major problems. So we'll, we'll see what uh, Kumatetsu is going to bring out here against them. Go straight to Leroy. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, there's the Eddie already getting set up on the side of John Ding. Oh Yo, we got a Noctis. This could be fun. Going to see some emo, man. I thought you was going to rock with this Noctis, man. Leroy came out and you just jumped shit, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes got all big. Hell yeah. That's what Noctis says. Battle, battle, battle. <laughs> all right, here we go. Eddie versus Noctis. Another one of those characters over the past few uh, patches has been getting uh, a lot of love. A uh, very viable character. I mean, I remember seeing, like, you know, Noctis early on. Um, it has even gotten better since then. Oh, yeah. And, you know, when I saw him, like, in the original version of him, I thought that he was a little bit uh, too safe. Like, you know, he didn't, he didn't really have anything to trick you with. Like, it was doable to win with him, uh, but it was just so difficult because he was a little too honest, right? Mm. 
No, that's definitely true. He's definitely one of the, the, the characters that had a harder time versus like the most other cats. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, some of the new stuff they gave him, like that little uh, shoulder check, the shield check from full crouch, mm -hmm. safe on block. I'm like what? Oh, it's yeah. safe on block? Yeah, so the one from full crouch is, wow, just immediately stuffed the rage. I mean, Kumatetsu getting the first round solid against John Ding. Okay, Kumatetsu representing yeah. Japan, of course. Oh, nice whip punish. Gets a full launcher. Probably going to get the wall with it. Oh, yeah. He's got crazy wall carry. Done, though. Oh, nice my God. 50% already. Nice block on the low. I like that. All standing, too. Gets the full punish. Slide to 50 of his own here. Gets the poke. Yeah, got to be careful on that spring. It was definitely safe. Oh, what a walk. And goes instantly into relax. John Ding looks like he knew. He scouted that bad boy from a, from a while away. Yeah, he whipped it, too. That could have been a rage drive. He's got to be careful. Johnning a little too antsy right now. Kumatetsu is looking good, even despite being enraged at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah good choice. And that forward forward one plus two, that was like his main tool when the character launched. Uh, so it's cool to see people still running it. Hey. Nice. nice block. Low. Not gonna work. Full launcher on top of it. John Dane's gonna get back to the middle of the stage now. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -oh. now to hit three. Okay, now this is a problem. Kometsu, uh, Kometsu has been doing a good job of keeping momentum in his favor. Nice jab out, and that's exactly oh, that what was I was talking about. that was a terrible about. combo, though. He could have been at the wall. Could have probably closed out the round here. Instead, Johnny's going to have Rage. Oh, was he hitting a button? Man, oh. he has to have the worst percentage of Rage Art hits in the game. Right? For a tournament level player. This John no Ding is John Ding. He tries it a lot. For me. He tries. Here you have like low high on one spectrum of the UIU team with Rage Arts, and then you got Johnny on the other spectrum. That's <laughs> that's the scale? Yeah, man, that's man, my, the UIU Rage Arts scale. My boy is John Ding with the Rage Arts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like what Kumatetsu is doing though. Up two rounds. Rodeo no break this time. That's going to be big damage. Uh oh, almost had the round. Oh, tries what? to go for the low Kumatetsu with Rady though. Low parry, good damage on the wall, and he's in Rage. Oh, oh my god, he's dead. Oh, he didn't find the wall. Oh, oh the low, oh. the rake. No, oh, what the hell is happening? 50 50. Ah, oh, the low. Final round, first game. Here we go. That was craziness. That was actually crazy. Kumatetsu had two chances there to close out that game. Now, John Dick, get it out of here. Yo, Kumatetsu's low parry ratio is so good. I mean, it is Eddie, so you got to look for it, but still. Yeah, but you can tell he's like not, he doesn't have like the tournament nerves, right? He's dropping so many clutch situations. Okay, Rodeo break this time. What? Wow. Yeah, you have to remember, when Eddie goes into relax, if you catch him soon enough, you can still get a full float on him, even though he looks like he's on that the ground. Dish. Counter hit. The mid this time. Low parry it is. I don't think so. Wait for the 50 again. Oh, the low again. Okay, all right. John Damn. King bringing it back. All right. All right. And that is definitely tournament veteran status. John Dane clutching it out. All right, Kumatetsu, what are you going to do? He's been playing. He's That whole match was really good, though. He won like five out of those five rounds, but he just didn't win the game. Yeah. Yeah, you were right about that conversion on the wall. Definitely could have had the float, had the position in his favor. Um, but the rage drive didn't hit the wall. That was super unfortunate for him as well, right? There, there's multiple situations he could have closed it out there. So, you know, the way the set has gone so far, I feel like he's not going to be able to win the set now because he should have won that one. And because he's lacking tournament experience, from my guess, uh, I don't see him pulling this all the way back. But I would love to be wrong. Hey, look, he's doing more than enough damage. All he needs is a few good reads right now, and he can definitely close out. Breaks the one plus two throw, the rodeo. No go. Counter hit. Hey, that does a ton. Yeah, that does a bunch of damage. Good space him real close to the wall. I want to see what Kamatetsu is going to do right now, but I, 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 like I said, even you know he's playing so well, but he's just not able to close out. Right, I, that's the thing. I, I feel like these rounds are all going to go very well for him until the last moments. Yeah, he's in rage. Small pokes. Oh, man, it overextends a little bit. And I feel like John Ding well, knows now. He knows, he's like, you know what? He really wants to get in. And yep. if I play back a little bit, this might work out. And even those low praise that he got away with in the first game so much, like John Ding, you know, he, he's filed that away. He's like, all right, I know he's going to look for these low parries. I'm going to check with a lot more mids now. And that round there, he closed out the mid. Solid stuff from John Ding. But it's not over just yet. Dancing a little bit. Great back dashing from uh, John Ding. His Eddie has quite the crazy movement. 
Check the look at the footwork. Yeah, that's how you know it. Oh my god, that's how you know when John Ding is getting comfortable, right? When you see him doing the back dash mm -hmm. like that. And yeah, look at it, working on a perfect right now. Oh, not anymore. Gets him with the rake, the low. He's got such a big lead here, you know he doesn't have to overextend. There's one poke at a time here, 17 seconds, plenty of time for him to just chill. Go relax if he has to, but you gotta watch him with big sword. And just check him, keep him out. Nice stuff, John Ding on set point here. Yeah, that's slowing, that, that's slowing it down. Definitely uh, works out in his favor this time. All right, break on the throw. John Ding on set point now. All right, Kuma Tetsu, now's the time. Got a Phoenix down it, bro. Bring it all the way back. Oh, oh. And like I said, the fact that like John Ding already knows that Kuma Tetsu is actually going to overextend, he's playing so relaxed right now. <laughs> Super relaxed. Right? But you can see you know, just his spacing now with the back dashes, just to avoid all the big spear attacks and the big sword attacks from Noctis. And look, you see, he's so calm here. He's like, all right, whatever. Like, what are you going to do about it? Set point, closing out. John Ding moving on in the tournament. Yeah, and that went, you know, basically as I expected to after that first game. That that first game, Kuma Tetsu just really let way too much slip. And you can tell, like, that kind of momentum, giving that to John Ding, it's, it's hard to recover from. John Ding staying alive. Uh, was that winner's That was the winner final of that pool. So John Ding making out of winners out of his pool. But coming up next, we have another winner's final and some notable players behind him. Oh, wow. But yo, uh, Dutu Ring is actually coming up versus Ken. Oh, wow. We were just talking about Ken. Dutu Ring, who does he play now? Because he's switched quite a, t a few times. No clue currently. Did he switch to something else? I'm pretty sure he did. I know he's, he used to play King a long time ago. Um, switched to one other character, I can't remember the name, and then now he's, I'm pretty sure he's playing somebody else now. Right, but as I mentioned, this is going to be another winner's final match for the pool. This should be a good one. Liquid Gen. Wouldn't it be cool if he's running Leroy as well? Yo, I feel like him. So we. I'm saying him with Leroy. So this is one of the conversations that me and Rip had. We were like, yo, man, who would be a problem if they use Leroy? Right. I was like, Kokomo would be a beast if he used Leroy. I mean, right? the thing is. There's different styles of Leroy, right? Because he's got this huge variety of great attacks that you can use, and certain players can say, like, I want to use these four. And then other players can be like, I like these ones. They're riskier, but they're crazy. I think Kakon was in that category. You know, he's he's unafraid to do the riskier stuff when he has to. You know? Well, I feel like uh, Gin is also like one of those players. He's one of the newer players uh, on the scene, especially when it comes to uh, being sponsored, traveling around. And I feel like this year has been one of his best years, obviously, especially oh, how well he did in a TWT. But here he is again. Uh, coming back into, you know, this year. I'm interested to see what he's going to do in the Tekken World Tour, but it actually starts here. The Tekken World Tour doesn't start here. No, sir. But I want to see the progress. that he. The, it, everything can only go up for him. But he's also one of those people I was looking at last year and being like, hey, man, it's going to be a great year for Tekken. I feel like this year is just the same, though. Oh, without a doubt. You know, Evil Japan, uh, year after year, seems to be getting better and better. I, I can say, you know, this year, as we mentioned multiple times, already, this venue is packed right now. There are tons of players here from around the world. The competition level is extremely high. And right now, this is the winner's final of the pool. Dota Ring versus Liquid Gen. What are you looking over there? Uh, this is curry cup noodle. I've never right. had this flavor. So why, why you got the curry on your side? Can't I have it on my side? Nah, man. Korean barbecue flavor? That's like they, they got did. all these new stir fry flavors of these cup noodles. This is sweet chili flavor. They got Korean barbecue. What, what's this one? Teriyaki one? beef. Teriyaki beef? These, these sound great. Can I take these home? Is this <laughs> right? No, this one I got next to me is the seafood one. Oh, okay. Yo, this sweet chili though. This this looks uh. Let me get the curry one. Let's swap sides here. I'm not about deep. Wow, wow. What if yeah. it's the best one? It might be. Critically be. acclaimed. It says right here. I believe it. I believe Top three flavors I'm of saying. cup noodles. It says it on here. Yeah, yes. but yeah. I mean, this is also the number one curry instant noodles in Japan. Theme. I mean, but that's just Nissen, man. That's cup noodles Nissen, man. You no, know me, man. Yeah. If it ain't Nissen, something's missing, bro. All right, here we go. Here, here we are. Dota Ring versus Gen. Liquids Gen. G Gods Dota Ring versus Liquid Gen. I wonder what this G Gods is. Yes, Gigas. That's Dota Ring. Oh That's who's my switching. goodness. So this is definitely Kirk I was thinking. And Gen is running his Shaheen. Yo, that outfit is sick though. Gigantic gods? <laughs> I was Gigantic gods? I don't know. Eternals? All right, stop. Spacing looking really good already. I'm interested to see how Gin plays this. Like, I, I just like to see how he plays a bunch of the different matchups, especially like in Tekken 7. I feel like he has such a different approach. Dude! Yo, Dolderick oh, is big running through him right now. Okay, good counter hit. Nice oh, orbital of his own. Okay. 
Rage mode now for Dodoring. Punish that! He should have down two! And down to over oh, slide. Dead. Nice down, down four, down four, four to close out. Round two. Yeah, and Dodoring Fight. really let that one slip away from him. Man, four, four, two all day. Mm -hmm. Dodoring doing a good job. Not able to close out Woo. the first game. Down two. Did he whip one the down forward one with that? That's what it looks like, and it seemed like he sidestepped to the right, too. Oh, caught you sidestepping, flipped the table. Flip the table. Man, the power crushes, though. They're scary. Counter hit. Flip the Ooh. table. <laughs> <laughs> round three. Fight. All right, one round a piece. Mm -hmm. Great way to answer back there. Oh, the jump back. I forgot the name of that stance. I always want to call it uh, Veil Tudo's. Like Goliath dance or something? Is that what it's called? I think That's so. sick. Throw back to the wall. Break. Get off of me. There we go. He needs to be careful. Gin's back really close to this wall, but Dota Ring, he's in more trouble. Rage goes for the slide. They trade. Let's do it. Oh, oh my, my god. god. He's going for two to six. Nice jump like out the of jump. there. I like and look the at jump. the cancel. Dota Ring ready for him to jump away. Get off of me. Look at the block and punish with the wild standing 3 3. What is that move called? Like Scorpion Sting or something? Fight. Oh yeah, you gotta ask Obama. He always calls out yes. <laughs> <laughs> Scorpion something, Bro. isn't it? I'm pretty sure it's Scorpion Sting. I could be wrong though. Good tracking move right there. Hey, Trying to hey. stop throwing the ring from moving around. That down four, down four, four five. Janine is like such a good tool that they added as a new move. Tailspin as well, super hey. strong. Oh, Magic 4, too far to get a combo. Nice defense, no break. Is that going to wall trap for that far? No. Oh, wow, that, that actually scared the hell out of me. Like, I didn't. <laughs> I saw you, like, flinch. I'm like, whoa. That's... Final round, game one. Like, the thing about Gigas, I feel like there's not a lot of characters in Tekken that give you, like, the intimidation factor. Gigas is definitely one of those characters. I feel like part of his gameplay is the fact that, like, you have to be intimidating with the character. Flip the table. Oh, count it. Oh, flip this table though. Oh, man, those long distance jabs. Yo, Dota Ring has been doing this for quite some time, man. That's why I was, I'm really, that's one of the things I was talking about. The fact that, again, I feel like I have not seen him play a bunch of these players that have been around for a very long time. That's one of the things I love most about Tech. You get newer players that come in and they try their hand versus some of these guys have been playing for a long time. And it's, I get to see what they know and what they don't know. Yo, this next match coming up. Yeah, though. there's yes. a couple of them, yeah. Yes. But man, yeah, Gen right here, you know, that was back and forth throughout the whole set. But, you know, Dota Ring, I feel like he had the edge the whole way through. Even the first round that he lost, he looked like he had a really good lead in. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm personally like, you have to have experience versus Gigas or else it's definitely gonna go down here. And I feel like as a Gigas player, they figure it out. They, they go, they're like, oh wait, he doesn't know. Now I can go crazy. Yeah, I love the way Dodoring does not use the power crush a bunch, right? He throws it out a little bit to make you think about it, but it's not like abusing it a ton. It's definitely like the fear factor, right? It's like, look, you know I can do this, so don't hit buttons until, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, and Japan has so many good Gigas players too. Oh God, nice block. Oh, full combo conversion Ooh. and the air throw on top. He wanted the wall there, didn't quite find it though. Yeah, he was a little bit at an angle right there, so. Oh. He was hopeful. Mm. Unblockable. Unblockable. Hey, look oh at the damage! God. Scorpion Sting. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> He's making up names. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I'm pretty sure it's Scorpion Sting. Slide. Sounds good to me. Down four, down four, four right there. Damn! Oh. Dude, this character is terrifying. I want to play him again. <laughs> Got to figure out how to beat uh, what's his name? Yojin boy, man. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> one nice day, double. one day. Oh no, that was a big mistake there from Gen. That wall has been helping and hurting Dota Ring the entire time. Oh boy, pity pity. Okay. Nice defense here. I went for the mid this time. Oh, he hit a button? button. I don't think he's hitting the button. Nope. No, sir, down the two. down two. Uh huh. Ah, flapjack. One round apiece. Your man, Ken, might be setting the loser bracket. Evo Japan is crazy, bro. I told you, dude, this was one of those events. Down two. Didn't get the launch this time. Ken tries to go for a small punish. Damn. 
slide once again. Yo, that slide has been pretty successful. You see him trying to go for the mix-up right there with the orbital. Thinking he was going to duck the slide, didn't work out. Yeah, Dodoring there, even with the, the blocks of the orbital, right? Like, last tech just standing up to block, even though the slides were in the way before that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, again, trying to get something back here. He's up two rounds to one right now in the second game. Yeah, but this Dodoring, man, you can't count this guy out at all. Beautiful orbital here from Gendo. Hey, he got the wall. The wall. Uh, 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 hey, uh, hey. Big damage. Pretty good. With the fake out. He hit him with the low high. He just walked up, crouching, wait, 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 hit him with the high. Done. Get off of me, bro. You already knocked out the KPA, man. Back up. Yeah, look for a nice and solid safe poke. Down forward one will get it done. And we're tied up. One game apiece here. One of the strengths of Gin is the fact that he's willing to go to this super slow paced game where he's like, down forward one, what are you going to do? Let me check to see how you're going to react to some of the things I'm going to do. And then take advantage of it. Um, that's a classic Roboto from Gin that I like to see. Yeah, yeah and I've noticed 